Welcome to this week's TDD Weekly Report for the week ending October 4th. First up, I would like to make a correction and thank you to my viewers from India about giving me this correction when I talked about the quote from a person named Modi. I was thinking I was referring to a team member, but actually the quote was from the Prime Minister of India. And so let me get this quote correct. And uh, it goes, The odds were stacked against us, Prime Minister Narendra Modi said at a press conference today, When you are trying to do something that has not been attempted before, it is a leap into the unknown, and space is indeed the biggest unknown out there. This is in reference to the spacecraft, the satellite that India launched and has been orbiting around Mars for a little over a week now. And uh, again, congratulations to India for doing that. I hope they... Uh, take the space race by storm, and uh, even if we end up being embarrassed in the lot for not keeping up, all the better. Gives us uh, an excuse for maybe getting some competition underway. Next up, this is from Gizmodo. Redbox Instant will shut down streaming video on October 7th. Uh, I wasn't even aware, aware of this, but they did put up a streaming um, service to try to take on the big players in the game, Netflix and Hulu, and I guess it didn't quite work out, but no worries if for some reason you did uh, sign up for the streaming video, um, the streaming service. They're going to give refunds to everybody, so nobody's going to lose any money in the deal here. Uh, for what it is, I think it's actually a pretty decent service. For a while there, I was using it rather regular when every couple of months they would send me a coupon for a free movie especially. I was using the red box. I've got three of them within walking distance, two of them within very easy walking distance, and then um, easy driving distance. There's four or more of them around. Uh, one's down the corner gas station, another one at the other corner at Walgreens, and then just a little ways down the road at Wal uh, Walmart there's another one. So plenty of these red boxes around, and uh, I think for some people it is a, a very good service. Really, it's kind of like pay as you go. No monthly bill. If you decide for one month you don't need to use anything, no bill is going to come in the mail. So um, even as cheap as Netflix can be, um, you know, if you don't decide to use it for a month, you pay nothing. So I think it fits a, a real niche um, type of audience there. And this next one's also from Gizmodo. Scientists make objects invisible with a tricky optical illusion. This is from University of Rochester. This is not really a full cloaking device, but they're using some optical tricks of lenses to bend light around objects now. This does not cover making something invisible necessarily at every angle you can view it at, but when you have certain circumstances to where maybe some of your angles of viewing are limited, it does a pretty excellent job. I mean, if you see their one video, I'll, I'll put it up here, um, of them moving a hand back and forth in front of the lens here, it, uh, it does work very good as a cloaking device for that particular way of doing it. And I think in a lot of instances, especially for military use, if you're trying to hide an object from an enemy, and especially if the enemy is limited to a certain location, like a camp, a bunker, a building, something like that, um, as long as their viewing angle is quite limited and they can't move around a lot and see something at different angles, this could probably be an effective cloaking device even the way it's, uh, it's at right now with just maybe a you know, little bit of upgrades and a little bit of uh, modifications. And... Uh, who knows, this is the first shot at it, so who knows what they can do if they get a little bit more time and effort put into it. Could be something really, really cool. Next up, this is from my friend Christina Crow. Thank you for sending this in. This is just a little um, something to play around with if you got a few minutes of spare time here and there. It's called stars.chromeexperiments.com, and it's basically one of those things where you zoom in and zoom out, and in this case, you zoom all the way into a view centered on the sun in our solar system, and then you can view out to see the entire solar system all the way out to uh, the Oort cloud. Beyond that, you see a view of our local cluster of stars. You can hover over and highlight some of the star names, stuff like that, and uh, click on it, and it will give you a view. Um, it's a little bit clunky because when you do click on one of the stars, like, for example, if you'd want to see some detail on Sirius or one of the stars like that, um, what does happen is then your um, centering on your three-dimensional space becomes uh, centered on that star, so you have to go up to the upper left-hand part of it and click to uh, get it sun-centered again if you want to zoom in and zoom out to our solar system. But um, if you play around with it a little bit, nothing's really difficult to uh, 
to figure out, and it's got a lot of extra features, some information. You can click the little play arrow at the upper left and get a little tour, so it'll give you kind of a little guided tour for part of it. But you're left on your own. You can use the zoom bar on the right, zoom in and out. You can change by just uh, clicking and dragging. You can change all your different viewing angles, up, down, left, right, spin around. And it goes out all the way to show um, almost a complete view of the Milky Way galaxy. So it's uh, kind of similar to flying around in a little spacecraft or something like that. Kind of fun, fun to play around with, so I think it's something kind of cool to try. And then last up, this is the day that they released the GoPro Hero 4s. And there's actually two models of Hero 4 and then one just called an entry-level Hero. I'll talk about that first. It's uh, $129.99. And evidently exploring, the one thing I don't quite like about it, though, is it's built into the case. It's not um, at least easily removable from what I can see, and I don't think it's meant to be removed from the case. So if it should get damaged, uh, you can't like, uh, at least that I've seen, now maybe some hackers like anything else, you know, if it can get put in the case, there probably is somebody that's going to show us how to take it out of the case. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's meant to be uh, kept in the case, and then they just give you a skeleton back with it if you want to use a... Uh, the uh, inbuilt microphone for uh, audio purposes, but hey, for $129.99, what do you expect? And then the next model up is the silver, which has one thing that's kind of nice. It's got the built-in LED on back, so you don't need to buy anything extra. And that's uh, $399.95 for the silver. And uh, that seems to be the one that most people are going to really want, although it's still missing the uh, 30 frames per second at the 4K, but then you step up to the $499.95 Hero Black, you lose the LED screen on back, but you also gain 30 frames per second at the 4K resolution. So a good assortment, and I think Hero's taken the next step just to stay a little bit ahead of their competitors, at least you know for the kind of people that they play to and the kind of people that like the GoPro. I think they've, uh, they've made a good next step. I'm just waiting for the reviews now. I think um, some of the people in the motive vlogging community and some people that are um, YouTube users have actually gotten a hold of it a little bit, so if you search YouTube, I'm sure you will be able to see some reviews of the different models of the GoPro Hero 4. Uh, I haven't seen one yet, but probably by the time even I broadcast this, somebody has uh, probably gotten even a hold of the entry level 129.99 one to give a review on that. And uh, if any of my viewers happen to have one or plan on ordering one, uh, I would sure appreciate if you would give me a review or send it for a, a part of the TDD report. This is very viewer driven. It's all about the viewers. And I appreciate any extra information anybody gives me in the comments. Uh, I appreciate all the material you send in. So that's about it for this week. Take care, everybody. I will catch you next week.